हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अ चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 10 ऑफ क्लास 5 ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज दैट इज वॉल्स टेल स्टोरीज सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स नाउ टर्न टू पेज नंबर 89 थिंक एंड डिस्कस हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज हाउ वुड द फाउंटेन्स हैव वर्कड आंसर इज Fountains would have got water supply from a large reservoir. Further, second question says, What arrangements would have been made in the buildings for air and light? Answer is, Large windows, doors and ventilators allowed natural sunlight to enter the building. These also allowed a lot of fresh air to come in. Further, question number 3 says, Look carefully at the picture of the beautiful carving on the wall. What kind of tools would have been used for such fine carving? So the answer is, these carvings would have been made using a chisel and hammer which were made of iron. Further, tell and write. Look carefully at the map of Golconda. On the map, arrows shows all the four directions. First, if you are peeping inside from Bodhli Darwaza, in which direction from you is Katora Horse. Answer is in the north direction. Second part says, If someone is entering from Banjara Darwaza, in which direction is Katora Horse? Answer is in the south direction. Third, in which direction will you walk from Bala Hisar to reach Moti Mahal? Answer is in the east direction. Further, fourth is, how many gates can you see on the outer walls of the fort? Answer is, there are 9 gates. Fifth, count how many palaces are there in the fort? Answer is, there are 3 palaces. Sixth, what arrangements for water can you see inside the fort? For example, wells, tanks, step wells. Answer is, there are 5 bellows and 3 horse for water. Further, seventh question says, On the map, 1 cm distance is equal to the distance of 100 meters on the ground. Now, tell, on the map, the distance between Bala Hisar and Fateh Darwaza is centimeter. On the ground, the distance between 2 would be meters. So, the answer is, on the map, the distance between Bala Hisar and Fateh Darwaza is 8 cm. On the ground, the distance between the two would be 880 meter, that is 880 meter. Now, 8th question says, How far is Makai Darwaza from Fateh Darwaza? Answer is, about 100 meter. Now, turn to page number 93. Discuss. First part says, Have you recently read or heard about any country attacking or going to war with another country? Answer is, yes. Recently, the USA has attacked Iraq. Second, find out what was the reason for this war. Answer is, the USA wanted to topple the Iraq president Saddam Hussein. Now, third is, what kind of weapons were used in this war? Answer is, many sophisticated fighters, planes, tanks, helicopters, machine guns, missiles, etc. were used in this war. Fourth, what kind of destructions was caused because of this? Answer is, there was a huge loss of life and property. Thousands of people were killed and numerous buildings were damaged. For the find out, the big gun that Sridhar saw was made of bronze. First, have you ever seen anything made of bronze and what? Answer is, yes, I have seen diyas and statues made of bronze. Second, Find out from your elders about some of the things made from bronze that were or are still used in your house. From this color, try to identify which one of them is made from copper, which from brass and which from bronze. Answer is copper items, lota and tumbler. Second, brass, lota and puja thali. Third, bronze, statue of the trudge. So now turn to page number 95. Close your eyes and go back in time. 
First question says, what is the Sultan doing in the palace? What kind of clothes is he wearing? What dishes are being offered to him? But why does he seem so worried? And in what language is he talking? Answer is, the Sultan is holding a meeting with his ministers. He is wearing traditional dress and lots of jewellery. Many types of Mughalai food, drinks and sweet dish were being offered to him. He seems to be worried about the possible attack from the enemy kingdom. For the second question says, imagine the rooms in the palace, the beautiful carpets and curtains, the fountains on the terrace and the sweet smell of roses and chameli. Where is this coming from? Answer is, the rooms are looking grand. There are beautiful Persian carpets with intricate designs. Curtains are embroidered with gold. There is a beautiful garden on the terrace from where the sweet smell of roses and chameli is coming. Further moving to our question number 3 which says, What are the different kinds of factories you can see? How many people are working there? What are they doing? What are they wearing and how long do you think they work? Answer is, I can see factories where clothes, utensils, idols and arms are being made. About 20 people are working in a factory. They are working with their tools. They are wearing dhoti. I think they work for long hours. Right from the early morning to late evenings. Further question number 4 says, Look there. See how finally these craftsmen are craving the stones using the chisel and hammer. Can you see the stone dust in the air? Do you think this stone dust would harm them in some way? Answer is, yes, I can see stone dust in the air. Stone dust can harm them if they do not take precautions. I can see that most of them have wrapped the cloth around their nose. Now, Turn to page number 97. Write, what kinds of pots have you seen around you? Answer is, I have seen pots made from different items like steel, aluminium, brass, copper and plastic. Further question number 2 says, try to find out from your grandparents about other kinds of pots and pans they used in their time. Answer is, during my grandparents time, most of the pots were made from brass and they were pretty heavy. Some of the pots were also made from clay. Copper was also used. Further, question number 3 says, Have you ever been seen to some museum or heard about it? What all things are there in the museum? Answer is, yes, I have visited the Salar Jung Museum in Hyderabad. There are many antique artifacts, manuscripts and garments kept in the museum. Now, turn to page number 98. What we have learnt. First, Sangeeta thinks it is useless to keep old things in a museum. How would you convince her that it is important to have a museum? Answer is, various antique things are kept in the museum. They tell us a lot about ancient time. We come to know about people and culture by looking at the things kept in the museum. Hence, museums are very helpful for us. Second, why do you think the chapter is named Walt's Tales Stories. Answer is, the chapter is about historical structures which had been witnesses to their times. They tell a lot about the people, art, culture, craft, technology and events of the historical period. Hence, the name Walt's Tales Stories is appropriate for this chapter. So guys, I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Ugly Same Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health. <laughs>